It's the free ski capital of the world. Don't buy a Vail Pass, they're psyching you out, man. 10 out of 10. Innsbruck, Austria is a city nestled into the heart of the Alps. If you drive one hour to the west, you're in the Zillertal Valley, home to Penken Park, Hintertux, and many free riding hotspots. If you drive 40 minutes to the south, you're in the Stubai Valley, home to the famous Stubai Glacier and early season mega parks. If you drive one hour east, you're in the free ride paradise of St. Anton de Malberg. This close proximity to many world-class ski resorts makes Innsbruck a desirable location for many skiers. But it's Innsbruck's city life and universities that allow the skiers here to not just have the mountains, but to also have the communities and amenities of a city life. Today, we will be going to one of the mountains located in Innsbruck itself called Nordkette. Unlike the other mountains mentioned, Nordkette is easily accessible via public transportation or even biking from Innsbruck itself. We're now like two minutes away from the first train. Pretty good way to start the day. Nordkette is not your usual city slope. It's quite big. It has this amazing terrain park with short laps. On top of this, there's tons of great natural terrain and slopes. But we're here in Nordkette for more than just the natural terrain. Never met any other person like Jiman that can bring a community together as well as he does. Do you know where we can find the Jiman? <laughs> yeah, it's me. Today is a Jiman airline session, like a side country, off piste slope event for everybody. Uh, I've been up here the whole week. Uh, checking some directions, made some pre-cuts and yeah, usually all those hits appear here by time. Jimon and his homies have spent the past week building side jumps up and down Nordkette for the community to come out and shred. Here is a quick course preview. Hit 1 is a warm up hit before you get to hit 2, which is where everyone posts up to watch the biggest sends of the day off this crazy step down. Hit 3 is a nice hip on the side of the traverse that you need to take to get to hit 4, which is a step up into a poppy jump that leads you perfectly into two cat track gaps that makes up hits 5 and 6. My goal for today is to lace up a top to bottom run through all of these six hits. We'll get back to that later. The session is starting. Here's one of my first attempts of lacing a top to bottom line through all of the six hits in a row. I think I can do better, but we're getting started. Oh, you know that, I'm so out of breath. Yeah? I did. Just full top to bottom. Oh yeah. Okay, what's your name, where are you from? Jake Simpson, and I'm from Wales. I live here in the city, so it kind of mixes the city life and the resort life, so I'm gonna give it 10 out of 10. Now that I'm feeling warmed up and I'm super gassed up from the sessions, let's try and get this full top to bottom run. Now that we've completed the side mission, let's get back to the Gmon Airline Super Sessions.
The coolest part about the Gmon Airline sessions is that this event wasn't designed to make money. Instead, Gmon dedicated his time to give back to the community, to provide the local skiers with an amazing day of skiing. To me, this is a representation of the wonderful free ski culture that exists in Innsbruck. What, what's your favorite part about uh, Innsbruck? The community, how international it is, and how many different people are here. Uh, friends, friends. Everyone's here from time to time. It's like so easy to meet up. I know it's hard to not come here when everyone else is coming to ski and just have a good time. Why do you think so many skiers uh, enjoy here? Just because the opportunity of how many mountains there are on one pass and the price range of it too. It's it's like realistic to your average person and you just have hella opportunity to ski all different types of mountains all different types of parks and have fun with your friends don't buy a veil pass because they're they're psyching you out man it's not worth it i'm sure it's the free ski capital of europe of the world, it's the world. Yes, innsbruck baby it is do you agree with the locals or do you think somewhere else is the free ski capital of the world let me know thank you for watching if you enjoyed this, check out the other videos I've been making this winter, like the one on Alta, Utah, and if it has the greatest snow on earth.